Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. The media report of the statement credited to Governor Dave Umahi of Ebony State, where he reportedly ordered the arrest of innocent locals who had, in a viral video, exposed the latest atrocities of Fulani terrorist headsmen in Ebony communities, is madness taken too far. Although we are not surprised at such treachery, it defies logic that a sitting governor will rather choose to dine with the oppressors of his own people just for the derisive promise of an illusory vice presidential candidacy to a Fulani presidential candidate in 2023. What a shame. We, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, ably led by our great leader, Mazi Nnamdekanu, therefore wish to warn Governor Dave Umahi against the grave implications of his actions. Declaring law-abiding citizens wanted simply because they exposed and confronted foreign terrorists in Ebony State is worse than terrorism itself. It only goes to show that Umahi and other Eastern politicians knows more about the in-season killings, rapes, and other atrocities in Ebony communities by Fulani headsmen and terrorists than they are willing to admit. It is the height of foolery, and Governor Dave Umahi will support that Governor Dave Umahi will support foreign Fulani terrorist headsmen against his own people that voted him into power. Does Governor Dave Umahi not know that our mothers for years now have been afraid of going to their farms for fear of being raped by Fulani headsmen and other evil atrocities and activities of the Miyeti Allah? Governor Dave Umahi is only cutting the rot of the people by choosing to swim against the tide. For deciding to sabotage the efforts of the Eastern Security Network, the Eastern Security Network personnel who are working tirelessly to rid Ebony State of killer headsmen and terrorists, Umahi has declared himself an enemy of the people. And he should be ready to face the consequences of his treachery. Governor Dave Umahi is fully aware that the same Fulani killer headsmen he is protecting have recently renamed Agbabo community close to Uburu town in Onichala local government to Aru. What has he done to reverse this affront? Instead of hiding his face in shame, that terrorists, that terrorists are now remain, renaming Ebony communities under his watch, Umahi is busy threatening patriotic Biafrans who are merely exposing the atrocities of Fulani headsmen in their communities. To underline the extent of Umahi's mental illness, he went as far as saying the video footage 
shot live during the Eastern Security Network encounter with terrorists is fake. This is how desperate these shameless Fulani slaves in Biafra land are to please their Janjaweed masters from the Sahel. We therefore advise Governor Dave Umahi and his Miyeti Allah handlers to make sure nothing happens to the citizens of a boy state who are within their rights to share the said video. Their friends will hold him and his family responsible should any harm befall any individual as a result of his wish to serve his Fulani masters. We also want traditional rulers and president generals recruited by the governors on governors in the southeast against the eastern security personnel to retrace their steps. Otherwise, they will eternally regret their action. Governor Umahi and his co traitors should stop provoking the masses, or else they will not survive the avalanche of rage that is coming. The masses are now wiser and ever ready to hand down mob justice to those working against their collective interest especially politicians. Comrade Ima Powerful, the media and publicity secretary to IPOB, has said. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? IPOB has now reacted to Governor Dave Umahi's directive declaring that the purported person behind or those behind the viral video of uh, the Fulani headsmen that were seen parking their loads to relocate from uh, a boy to the, uh, to the northern part of the country to be arrested. This, they say, is madness taking too far. Well, it is what it is. Another thing that captured my own attention is that the IPOP has revealed that if the Fulani headsmen renamed a community in uh, a point state to another name under the watch of the governor of the state. The question is how could this have been possible or how could this have been allowed? Well, it is what it is. A lot of things are happening that probably we may not have known or we may not really, really get to know more about it uh, until it is revealed and brought to the public light. But if truly, you know, the governor allowed uh, the Fulani headsmen to rename a community under his watch and he did nothing about it, then it is really, really unfortunate and it is sad and uh, it is something that should not have been allowed but it is what it is we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were also guys do you think that governor dave umahi purportedly and truly would arrest you know uh those who are behind the sharing of the viral video it has been debunked by the governor by the governor and the police command but however BBC Hausa reported that it was true that the people of uh, the Fulani headsmen were being chased out of Ebonyi bushes and forests. Even the Miyeti Allah, the president of the Miyeti Allah Association, as it were, also uh, said something similar, saying that they were being overpowered in the bushes and the forests, which relatively interprets to the fact that the Eastern Security Network personnel are overpowering the Fulani headsmen and in the bushes and they have been driven out. This also justifies the video that was posted earlier where in the video it was seen that uh, the camp of the Fulani headsmen were discovered 
and were burnt down and the Fulani headsmen chased out of the bushes. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I will see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.